Okay, Anson Garcia here with Verizon. Just a quick nugget today on presence and what the differences are in, let's say, your traditional Jabber presence or Skype for Business presence. They're very, very similar. And what's um, also similar is Microsoft Teams. What's not similar, oh, and, and uh, Slack is similar as well. What's not similar is Spark. Just real quick, I'm going to bring up the, you know, the presence documentation for Spark. And it says here, you can see other people's status in the Spark app. If you need to contact someone, check to see if they're, uh, if they're actively using the app. That is the key right there. If you need to contact someone, check to see if they're actively using the app. Okay, this is different than what we're traditionally used to. And uh, this makes it easy to know if others are available to respond. So let's look at the differences real quick. In Jabber, which is over here to my right, I see Anson Garcia the Jabber is in the application. Okay, how does that work? Two ways that can work. Let's go over to Anson. The, let's just put Spark away for now. Kind of has some integration with the Outlook program that's on the desktop. It also can work on the back end, also. So it's not. It, it can be server to server. In other words, cups to server, or cups to exchange, or cups to exchange online, and it can get the status of someone that way. So in this case, Anson's status is in a meeting. Okay, I didn't set that or anything like that. Obviously, you can set statuses inside Jabber as well. Uh, you have a way um, available, a way do not disturb. And there's some custom statuses also. I won't go into that. I just want to let you know that the Outlook, your calendar, whether it's on the front end here on the desktop or in the back end, you can still display automatically that, um, that you're in a meeting. Okay, it even tells me that I'm in a meeting. Um, but I don't need to know that. But other people need to do, like Jessica, if she wants to contact me, I'll put Spark away too. If she needs to contact me, she can see I'm in a meeting, and maybe, you know, we all still contact people, and say, I see you're in a meeting, can you chat at least, you know, maybe they're on a WebEx or something like that. You certainly see if they're presenting also, remember that? You see if they're presenting in WebEx. So that's a little higher level, right, inside Jabber. You say, oh, I better not disturb them at all, because they're probably sharing their screen. Okay, I'm quite, I, I think everybody is pretty familiar on how the Jabber presence works. Again, you can leave your particular desktop too. Let's just take a look at the options here. And we'll go to status. Um, show me as a way. So in other words, if your mouse doesn't move and nothing moves, then you're going to go be, be set away in 15 minutes. And you can change that. Uh, you can show away when you lock your computer. And then you can let others know when I'm in a meeting. That's going to either be, again, looking into your Outlook on your desktop or on the back end, Cups looking into Exchange or Exchange uh, Online. Okay, so those are the things. So there's tight integration. I would say that's pretty tight integration. Um, it's a mature, I would say, uh, presence feature set. Let's, let's put it that way. Let's shift over to Spark. What do we have in Spark that is different? Spark, you can see... I'm not active here. So this is Jessica, and Jessica's not active. Now I'm playing around my desktop, I'm browsing the web, I'm doing whatever, but it's it's still not active. Okay? The reason is, is I haven't interacted with, even I can click on here, I can click around, you know, I can click looking at things. It still says I'm not active. So that's a little strange to me. Maybe not you. I can go to Anson. And I can see. I'm going to bring up Spark. I can see Jessica. Not active. I don't know she's at her PC. She's, as far as I'm concerned, she's not active at all. Now, if she would have went away from her PC and Jabber would have went in you know, 15 minutes, she had it set for 15 minutes, it would have went to away. And then obviously when she came back, as soon as she moved her mouse, that tight integration, that presence that we're used to, is is you know is different and that's what i'm saying is different than in spark 
Okay, so I actually have to interact. I have to type something. Uh, I just can't poke around and look and read stuff. I have to input something. I can even come over here and, and look at my um, look at my settings, you know, and maybe I want to change my settings or something. It's still, again, not active. You know, active yesterday. So, um, what else do we have uh, in that? I showed you what Jabber had on Jessica's machine, and we'll look at those just again real quick. Options, status, again, away, lock computer, show you away, and then the calendaring thing. Now, what do I have here? So let's go active. I'm going to go active by, I'm just going to type in, you know, uh, I'll type in anything. Okay, and boom, there I go active. Now Jessica will see me, hopefully, as active. Okay, so that's the difference. Just because you're sitting at your PC behind your desk doesn't mean you're active in the traditional sense what we're looking, what we're used to in Jabber. What else do we have? Well, the options that we have here are do not disturb. You can set yourself for do not disturb for 20 minutes, an hour, eight hours, or 24 hours. So I can do that, you know, and then um, people will see me as do not disturb there. Okay, now it's a little funky because I, I, I guess it's a little buggy and I've noticed this before, but it shows me here um, as do not disturb, but I still get the green bubble over here. Okay, I actually have to hover and let's see, let's see what happens in a, um, let's see if we, uh, let's see if Anson is part of a team, just so you can see that. Uh, social team, okay, general, he's in general, right? Yeah, we're part of general, these are what, that's what, that's what we're not part of over here, so U U.S. social, let's see if Jessica, let's go to teams, U.S. social, general, and, and now we see that, okay? So, that's a little, you know, again, a little strange, I guess, you know, and now it's updated. Okay, so it takes a little while. Seems like this one updates over here pretty quick, but this one doesn't over here. So in a space, you'd have a little bit, you know, uh, maybe a, a little bit difficulty uh, seeing right away who's, who's in Do Not Disturb. A few seconds, no biggie. So what else do we have? I wanted to show you, um, you know, you can set that off. And obviously that goes off and uh, then we get it, you know, it seems like this one updates right away and then he's inside the message threads inside your uh, spaces and things like that to take a little, um, take a little bit more, more time, I guess. It's not very long. So let's take a look at, uh, go back to Anson here and let's take a look at our settings here. And you can see that we have audio, video, notifications, and devices. Okay, so we don't have any concept of status here that we can set. You know, hey, if I'm gone, you know, um, you know, things like that. So, again, I'm not saying good or bad. I'm saying different. Not the traditional presence that people are accustomed to. So, if you are selling into a client and they're on Jabber or they're Skype for Business, this is something to make sure that they're aware of. So we level set uh, expectations and things like that. The last thing you want to do is uh, yank something and, and people are used to setting certain present states or having automatically notify people that they're in their meetings and things like that and then that doesn't happen the same way. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is, let's go ahead and um, Let's go ahead and go to our calendar. Let's start a meeting. Let's go ahead and join a meeting. Okay, Anson is in his meeting host. Enter the host pin followed by pound. In his personal meeting. Not the host. Pound. And um, we can see that Anson's active. He's we don't see he's in a in a Enter WebEx. The host. Enter the host pin followed by pound. Or in a meeting. Not the host. Press pound or anything like that. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that too. So again, someone could contact you and call you. Um, Jessica can 
Jessica can uh, call Anson because she doesn't know he's in a meeting. You know? If you are the meeting host, Do that. And then he's going he's gonna to get an incoming call even though he's in a WebEx over here or a personal meeting room. So, I just wanted to show you that.